so getting right ahead on into it i did my brows off camera but if you would like to know how i get my little run-of-the-mill brows um i will link that video down in my description bar just in case you know you wanted to see that part so since this is my natural not natural this is like my everyday um beat glam type of vibe that i do i start off by prepping my lids with the maybelline instant age grind eraser it's this one and this one is in the shade hazelnut so just go ahead and apply this all over the lid and i'm just gonna buff this in using my real techniques beauty blender just to give us a nice base i don't like to use eyeshadow primer when it comes to everyday looks i don't know so i'm gonna be starting off with this dense looking eyeshadow brush um the name has worn off but i think it's from bh cosmetics and i'm also gonna be starting with the morphe jaclyn hill palette the ring the alarm palette and i'm taking the shade mugshot i'm just packing this on above my crease and i'm starting to blend from the inside back Alright, so next I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and I'm tapping, still in the same palette, I'm tapping into the shade Secret and I'm packing this in the outer corner. And I'm kind of like keeping my eyes open so that the little bit that gets blended for is like directly in the socket of my crease. You know, you just want to blend, make sure everything is seamless and flawless. Alright, so now I'm going back in with the previous brush, same shade mugshot, just to make sure that it's, you know, married together. So now I'm just taking um, a little brush at the um, ABH palette. It's just a normal, like, little deluxe crease brush. In the same palette, I'm taking this shade right here called Alert. It's like a really pretty burnt orange. And I'm taking a little bit of the shade Rush, which is like a softer orange. And I'm blending everything out. Alright, and now to finish off this look, I'm tapping into the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place, and I am taking the really pretty chocolate shade right here, and I'm grabbing it on that same brush, uh, the big dense brush, and I'm just going to use this to really fuse everything together and bring everything together, just to make sure everything is nice and blunt, honey. Okay, so now that, um, for the most part, this is all blended, like our crease and above the crease and transition shades are all blended, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, Full Wear Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 358 Amber. So, I'm just taking a little dollop. It's too much, too much, too much on both lips. And I'm going to take this Bo Gracious brush. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um... Yeah, but that's the little brush I'm taking. It's just a little concealer brush. And I'm just going to pat this in. Alright, but it should look something like that. Alright, so now that that's blended a little bit more, now I'm just going to be taking some setting powder. This is the Milani Translucent Banana Setting Powder. Like what? And I'm going over the lid. This is why I said it really didn't matter. You know, the concealer, because if you didn't really pat it in and blend it in too well, it's okay, because this made it all better. <laughs> so now that that is blended to my liking, I am going to be taking my Jordana Keta Look at Miner. We're going to be creating a fierce wing. All right, so we're all wings out. Went in with my primers. So first, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Pro Matte. No, it's not called Pro Matte. If I will matte lock primer. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild primers. Now we're going in with a little of this. Ooh, it's too much, too much, too much. foundation i am going in with my l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation best foundation in the drugstore right now in my opinion period like um, yeah i'm in the shade 520 i think it's called sienna but i'm not positive but i know for a fact that it's number um 520 
And to buff this all out, I like to take my expert face brush from um, Real Techniques. When I blend out my foundations, I just like to take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray on the brush. To All right, so now that our foundation is blended out well enough, we're going to go in with concealer. My favorite part of my makeup routine, I think, is concealer. So I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defy Concealer. This is in the shade C12. I love a popping under eye. That's just me. This is not everyone's cup of tea. Do a little machine. A little snatch under the eye. I like my eyes to be super smooth and bright. All right, to blend this bad boy out, I'm going to take my, it's so hella old, it doesn't make any sense. It's just an old tart brush that I love. It's like a little angle. It used to be a little point on it, but I kind of broke it off. So, <laughs> let me just cut my staple and blend. And the key to making using the lighter concealer work is just a really good detailed blender, honestly. Alright, so now that that's all finished, I am going to continue contouring, um, taking my Makeup Revolution Fast Bake Stick Foundation, this is in the shade F18, um, and I take this little black brush and apply it. Okay, so now that my contour is applied in all of the right areas, just double check it. I take a large, this large um, powder brush actually to blend it all out. This is a Mayo Mare, I hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly, <laughs> um, powder brush. And I just take it and I swirl to blend. This is not like my beginner friendly version of how I like would instruct beginners to contour. This is just how I contour and I'm used to it and you know I know more. But if you guys would like for me to post like a beginner friendly video on how to contour and how like let me know down below in the comment section. Um yeah and just other videos in general you would like to see from me. Alright, so now that my contour is blended, my highlight is blended, I am going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is in the shade Banana. Press my sponge into it. Tap off as much excess as physically possible after applying all that pressure. Fold my lips and really pound this into the skin. So, I like to do my chin area first with that powder just because I feel like around my mouth cracks like nobody's business because I talk so much and I have dimples and I have a bunch of Whatever. So, now that this part's done, now that I have a little more time before I set the rest of my face, I take my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in the shade 40, the dark one. And I take this little mini um, contour brush from Real Takes Mukes and I bake my contour.
So now I go in and I set the remainder of my highlighted areas. I will be posting a more in-depth video on how I do this, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> and I am now just going to take my Evian facial spray. I don't want to miss this out of my face. And we're gonna let this air dry. In my Black Radiance um, Kajal liner, the Eye Appeal. This is, um, I don't know the exact shade. It doesn't say the exact shade, but this is the brown one. So not the black, the brown. And now I'm just taking a little smudge brush, dipping back into the shade Secret from this Morphe Ring Alarm Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna use this to blend out that liner. Like Going back with this ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, I'm taking the little smudgy in, and I'm taking the shade Mugshot, and I'm actually going to pack this directly under here, and I'm taking this blendy in, blendy, <laughs> I'm taking the shade Alert from the same palette, and I'm going to blend all of the shadows out. Okay, so while our contour is still baking, I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Superstay pressed powder. And what I'm going to do is set my face using this Real Techniques Instapop face brush. It's just like a angle brush or what's have you. I'm going to go in and just blend. All right, so now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade Tan to Deep. This is like the OG palette before, you know, it was the customized ones. And I'm also going to be taking an Offra Professional Makeup number 27 brush, grabbing the shade Earth just to warm and define my contour. So for blush, I'm taking my Jordana powder eyeshadow. This is the number 12. It's called Burnt Orange. And I really, 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 really love blush. I really go in with it. So. Put it on my nose like a little Rudolph. It makes me look even more congested than I am. I am super congested right now. So it just looks like I've been rubbing my nose and it's all red. But. Okay, so now that all of the powder stuff is done, I go in with lashes and mascara and everything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just taking my L'Oreal Paris Mascara. And this is how I make my brows look a little hairier. Now we're going to go in and highlight using my Morphe Mirage Highlighter. I blend the bridge of my nose completely out, just so it's like something's there, but nothing is there. And then I barely blend the tip of my nose. And to highlight the rest of my face, I'm grabbing this Morphe M510 brush. Alright, and now for the inner corner of my eye, I'm just going to take this little um, green paintbrusher Divine Designs palette. And I'm going to take this little, so I can show you, these little glitters right here. Ooh. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw on my lipstick and some lashes and fluff this wig out from under here. And I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look lip and lash of that <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And one more thing, please be sure to hit that little bell so that you never miss a beat. Mwah! Love y'all.